guys, um, I want to do a video on some breakfast ideas. Um, the typical um, quote or whatever is breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Um, I somewhat believe that. Because obviously there's like different meals in the day. Breakfast is not the only meal, but um, I somewhat believe that because I feel like breakfast, um, it I'm one of those people that like wakes up hungry. Um, I know there are people that don't wake up hungry. They're not that hungry, but then when it gets to like lunchtime, they're really hungry. Um, I'm not gonna go into the whole spiel about how like your body has not been eating for eight hours. Blah 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 blah. blah. You you guys know that. Let's let's not, you know. Um, so I. I don't, I'm not one of those people that has a lot of time in the morning. I'm always rushing. Um, I get out of bed late. And um, I just eat breakfast when I'm getting ready. So I want something that's like not messy, not, um, you know, like a hassle to make. I want it quick and easy and I can be out the door. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys some ideas of like quick, easy breakfasts that are nutritious and filling at the same time. Um, I think the typical breakfast, like, the, if you picture a stereotypical breakfast, is, like, pancakes, bacon, cereal, stuff like that, eggs. Um, let's, let's all agree that pancakes and bacon are not healthy for you in the morning. Um, so, cereal, I, I don't really eat cereal, um, not that I have anything, you know, against it taste-wise. I don't feel like cereal fills me up to the point where um, I'm not hungry by 11 <laughs> so um, I don't feel like cereal is very filling I don't feel like it holds me over until lunch um, I feel like I'm I am on Weight Watchers so I do have to watch my points which I have a whole like Weight Watchers video um, and I feel like cereal might be like a waste of points just because um, say like a cup of cereal is like three or four points and then use like regular um whole milk a cup of that is like four points so that's like eight points right there um i feel like that's a lot and if it doesn't you know keep you satisfied and, and like filled or full um until at least 11 i don't think that's you know worth it so i made a little list of like some breakfasts that are not um really a hassle they're easy to make and that's a very long intro and I'm very sorry um, one is eggs um, it is I am NOT like a master chef I don't have some like fancy omelet to show you guys but pretty easy um, eggs, eggs are pretty ba basic um, I just do like an omelet like I, I mix together the eggs and I pour it on like a you know pan and there you go and I flip it over so um or I do it like sunny side up or um if I don't feel like you, you know dealing with the hassle of the yolk um I just like crush the yolk while it's like in the pan so that it just um cooks and it's hard and I could just eat it um you can add in like some vegetables, some like peppers, um, onions, if you're into onions, I hate onions, so, um, you can really add things to eggs, and they're filled with like protein and stuff, and they're really filling, so I think it's a good thing to have for breakfast, um, just to hold you over until lunch. Um, second is Greek yogurt, um, I didn't put yogurt, I put like Greek yogurt, just because... Ever since I've discovered Greek yogurt, I've kind of stayed away from regular yogurt. Um, it's a whole different, I don't know, like Greek yogurt and yogurt are not at all the same. Like regular yogurt is like really liquidy um, compared to Greek yogurt. Um, Greek yogurt, imagine it like um, sour cream. It's kind of like that. Um, they come with a ton of flavors, ton of fruits. Um, I love the Chobani. Um, brand yogurts and the Fahe, Phage, Fahi, what, however you say it. Um, I like that one. I think the Fahe one is my favorite just because it comes with the, the, in the container, it has like a separate little section for the fruit part and the, um, a separate 
yogurt so you can add it in however you want I think that's genius just because in the Chobani you just mix it all together and you're kind of like you get what you get but um, in the Fahe you can add as much as you want if you don't like it as sweet um, you know you can control it and it does come with a lot of sugar the flavored ones but it does come with a lot of protein and you can kind of control the sugar by adding more fruit if you want um, or you can just add regular fruit um, I feel like that's even better if you just have plain yogurt um, Greek yogurt like a plain flavor and you just add in some um, some fruit and there you go it's you can control what you add in and I think that's a good thing <laughs> um, and fruit is free on Weight Watchers at zero points. Um, the regular yogurt, I I do like it, but I just feel like it's filled with a lot of sugar. It's not like as good for you. I don't know. It's just whatever your preference is. Um, three, my third recommendation is just fruit, like an apple or a banana or an orange. But orange can get annoying because your hands smell like orange. But an apple or a banana, something like that, um, just to those like fruits are, are filled with like fiber and like nutrients like s such good things for you and if you just have it like natural it's not like processed or anything you know just like a regular fruit it's zero points if you're on Weight Watchers um, it, I feel like when I eat an apple I'm totally full um, so and bananas are really good <laughs> so berries stuff like that like if you just take that with you and even if you're just like walking to the train walking to the bus walking to your car you could just like snack on it as you go um and it's not like a hassle like maybe with like a spoon or whatever like you have it in your hand there you go number four um i've been so into this and i've been doing my own like fruit shakes um, I just add in like a cup of almond milk, unsweetened, unsweetened almond milk, um, a banana, and some berries like blackberries, strawberries, raspberries, um, stuff like that, and just blend it. <laughs> and I think that's it's really good. Um, you don't even have to add sugar because the banana is so sweet already that it adds in the sugar. Um, and I, I have a big sweet tooth. I like when things are sweet. And the banana just adds in so much sweetness without it being like, you know, right, you know, like table sugar. And I know people are scared of like fruit and sugar in it. And it's a totally different ki kind of sugar than the sugar you put on a spoon and dump into, you know, whatever. Um, it's just a totally different thing. So don't be afraid of like bananas and fruit and all that. And... Um, those shakes are really good. I love that. I had, um, the other day I had a breakfast of eggs and that shake and I was so full and it was like really good and really yummy and it was just really, really good. Um, I also do the fruit shakes, um, after my workouts. I, um, it's a great source of like protein and all that so it just like gets your, um, I don't know, it just brings you back <laughs> when I'm like um, when I work out like I'm really exhausted after it just brings me back um, there is a hassle of like cleaning the blender and all that but it takes like two seconds um, number five is green tea and I, for I forgot to like bring the one that I like but it's the Yama Motoyama brand I'm gonna put a link to it on um, Amazon I just buy a whole like 90 count pack um i feel like green tea is like really filling and it's good to like drink in the morning um green tea has so much benefits for you um that you guys can look up yourselves but it's good for you and it's um i feel like it fills me up and it tastes good number six is um just to throw it out there if you want something that's like carby um, an English muffin. Um, the light English muffins are um, like a power food on Weight Watchers, so it means that it's a, you know, they recommend you eat a lot of power foods just because those are more like filling. They're they have more like fiber, less fat, less salt, stuff like that. Um, so like an English muffin, you like 
spread something on it or like you put like eggs on it um they are filling so you can take one of those like laughing cow um wedges like cheese wedges and i use those as like cheese spread so i just like do like that and um there you go and it's pretty um filling for just like a one little english muffin um yeah so i hope that was helpful um i hope that gave you guys some ideas i feel like breakfast is a meal i want to start out with just because it's um i guess that mentality of like you start your day with like a healthy breakfast you don't want to ruin it with like a bad lunch or a bad dinner like it kind of gets you motivated and if you skip breakfast it's like well i'll have whatever i can and then that is not healthy <laughs> um yeah so what are your let me know what your favorite um breakfast foods are and if you found this helpful so yeah thank you for watching and i'll talk to you guys later bye